it's crack a lack of normal line it's my name's Leon I know today I wanted to start out with a quick tutorial not start out wanna uh, anyway, I've made a lot of videos while well. been trying to get that get my new camera soon. Gonna make a lot of more skits and stuff. And a lot of people have been requesting lots of draft gra draft tutorials, draft tutorials. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you today how to make the geometric crystal effect, which I really enjoyed and I just recently was taught. No, I learned how to make and and yeah. So anyway, let's start a new composition in Photoshop. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080p, and that's HD if you want it. And I use 300 resolution. These are my settings. You can use them. No, just kidding. I patent them. You get no. Just okay. So let's let's get started. So uh, please leave some uh, positive feedback if you enjoy the series. But anyway, <laughs> let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to just start out with that. You know, just like the white layer, and then make a new layer. And on that layer, you're going to choose the uh, polygonal lasso tool. <laughs> you're going to make a triangle. I mean, you can make several shapes if you want. But I mean, triangle looks looks best. So then, actually, first you want to pick a color. We're just going to use like, oh, I like this color, like a red. Right. Oh, oh, like it, it, actually, I showed this effect in my video. Oh, my voice cracked. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's just use a really light color to be really handy. Anyway, uh, make sure the color that you want to be in the triangle is going to be on the bottom. It's going to be in the background. Then you want to hit when it's selected. You want to hit Control Delete, and it will make the triangle a solid thing. So yeah. Then you what you want to do is you want to take your burn tool. And uh, you want to kind of, you know, kind of go across the top. You can't really see it right now, but that's because it's kind of vague, kind of vague. You want to take the dodge tool. You want to go just sweep across the bottom. Then you want to hit Control D to deselect it. Then you just want to hit L again, and it, it pressing the L on your keyboard will bring you to the polygon lasso tool. So there you go. And then you want to go to one of the points, and you want to make another random triangle. So just keep on doing this. Let's like let's make it like that. And then Control Delete. Go to your dodge tool. Sweep across the bottom, and then go to your burn tool and sweep across the top. That's it. And then uh, let's go over uh, right about there. And if your triangles aren't completely even or not completely not with it, that doesn't matter because uh, I'll show you. So uh, now we're gonna go into the burn tool. Just gonna do that. And this can take up to how many? Like if you make the uh, triangles really large, they can take up. It will be. Sh <sighs> it's like eight o'clock, eight thirteen, four. I can't even count. I, okay, anyway, let's just get on with the tutorial. So, so if they're larger squares, it will take less time. Obviously, if they're really small squares, it can take a lot of time. So let's just make some really big squares so I can just not take long on this. There we go. It's kind of really, oh, yeah, that's going to be ugly. But anyway, you see what I'm doing here? There we go. Control Elite. And uh, so as you can see, it's a little white space, but that doesn't matter because we can fix that. So go to your dot tool. Just kind of call it that in. Then go to your uh, burn tool. And then uh, delete and stuff. And then, yeah. So anyway... Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so I'll come back. One sec. Alright, so obviously this isn't the one that I was working on before. This is what it would kind of turn out to be. You know, you can use this color too if you want. But this is kind of what... Wait, hold on. This is what it will look like at the end if you are finished. It, this one took a while. Actually, I did this at school when I was really bored. So anyway, as you can see, I did not completely fill all of the triangles. And, uh, yeah, there's some white spaces. And to fix that, you actually want to make a new layer on top of that. You want to go to your... Uh, color tool and just kind of select the medium color like in the middle between the shading and the stuff you know the original color go to your paint bucket tool and just go like that and then make sure the layer that you just filled in is under the crystal layer and it'll look all look fancy smanth hey, look at that would you look at that that is wonderful so uh the uh, wait actually I'm not done yet if you want to change the color I want to show you a couple of color options all you have to do is like say you want it to become become to be red let's go to your paint bucket tool Paint this layer red. Make sure there's a layer on top of that. Then go down to, or what you can choose whatever. I normally use screen, or you can even do hue. Let me just pick the right. There we go. And that'll be red or whatever. Or to get even like more awesome and complex, is you can choose like, and if you want, say, say you want a gradient. Say you want a rainbow over it, whatever. I don't care. Go to, uh, go to a uh, gradient. Let's choose a uh, rainbow. Here we go. Let's kind of adjust it to the way we like it. All right, all right, sounds good. Looks good, looks good. So now it's actually a red layer with only a gradient overlay effect on it. So even though we press like hue on it right now, you'll see only still see the effect because the effect overrides the uh, oh my voice cracked again. Uh, the screen blending mode. So what you want to do to make this effect permanent on the actual layer, you want to new layer and you want to merge that with that layer. So Control E is merge two layers. Then you'll have a strictly rainbow layer with no effects on it. Then you would go down to hue and then over that it goes. Or you can even play with it. I like to use luminosity. No, I don't. Uh, which one? You no, know, color. Color works. It's really bright. Um, you can use, yeah, like, see, you can just play with these blending options see what you like. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I just kind of planned 
like five minutes ago that I was gonna make the tutorial because I kept telling people people was like oh you should make tutorials and stuff it's like sure I'll do that I really want to do that I always said I would do that but I never actually did but now I did so uh, yeah I really hope you enjoyed it hope it was somewhat helpful if you want to see more please leave a comment please leave a like or something or just subscribe maybe you know I don't know but uh, I hope you enjoyed it so remember join the pride and subscribe and come on my friends. Uh.